Hi, my name is Anthony and I'm a paramedic and today I'm going to demonstrate to you how to extract a patient on a spinal cord. We'll take it that the primary survey is done and you've made your decision to take this patient out on a board. Insurance cease by immobilization is in place. I would then direct my assistant to take over C spine. I will then size the collar. Form a collar and place it on the patient. Okay, this collar is just going on as an added safety measure, okay? Ensure the collar is centralized. Are you okay there, Simon? Yes. Once the collar is in place, we're now ready to roll the patient onto a spinal board and we may need additional pre-hospital providers. So, can you come in there, guys? Spinal board. Okay, the guy at the head will always control the movement of the patient. Okay, prepare to roll and roll. When the patient is up like so, you may now check for any injuries on his back. Feel along the spine. Check your gloves for any blood. Okay, happy enough? Yep. Okay, are you ready? Prepare to lower and lower. Okay, once the patient is on the spinal board, we don't slide the patient across the spinal board. We must move them straight up or straight down. Okay, so we have to centrally align the patient. And this will take standing over the patient, and again, the guy at the head will control the movement. So, let's see if you just go into at the end of the patient, you step up. Off for a minute. So we're going to slide the patient straight down and then straight back up to centrally align them with the man at the head controlling the movement. When I say move, we're moving down one inch. When I say stop, we will stop. Prepare to move and move. Stop. And same again, we're going to move them up one inch. Prepare to move and move. Stop. Is he happy enough there at the head? Yeah. Sorry, okay. centrally enough. Once the patient is centrally aligned, we'll then take out our spider straps and strap the patient to the board. Align the straps where they will be placed on the patient, which is the shoulders, the chest, the hips, above the knees, never on the joints, and down at the ankles. Here it is. We start with the hips and begin our strapping process. So can I just get you in that side there? Get your pre hospital provider and always go in to the same holes on the spinal board either side. So when we're happy with the straps that they're in place, we tighten the hip straps first, followed by the shoulder straps. Now if the patient starts to vomit, we're able to Log roll the patient to allow for postural drainage. From there onto the legs. And then the lower ankle. The last strap to be tightened would be the chest strap. 
get the patient to breathe in. So breathe in for me. And this ensures that he has proper chest clearance for when he wants to breathe. So the straps are tightened first, then the hedgehogs are placed on the patient. C-spine control remains in place until the strap on the hedgehogs is put in place. Placing the strap over the chin, use the plastic guard on the collar. Do not place the strap on the patient's airway. Place the second strap over the patient's forehead. Okay, you may carry out CSNs before and after all splinting. When checking the lower limbs, be sure not to tickle the foot as the patient may react by pulling away their leg. This concludes how to put someone on a spinal